well hello guys welcome back to our channel crypto console so before moving to a video if you haven't joined our telegram channel kindly join this is where we post about the node links and github links regarding the nodes and also some telegram boards and the airdrop links all the links will be posted in the telegram channel and uh, if you haven't followed me on twitter kindly follow i post about the node timings and the testnet guides related to that as you can see and this is our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel kindly subscribe and hit the notification icon and tune into all so you can get the instant notification about our videos so you can set up the node and uh, do the testnet task asap so let's get into the atlas uh, network so most of you joined if you haven't joined i'll provide the link on description and telegram kindly join and this is a free testnet on most of the tasks so just sign up and refer and also we completed on the last video as register as compute provider just for registering we got 1000 NPs and uh, in this thing you can earn by completing this quest and uh, restaking on their egan layer so see if you are a restaker you can also restake or you can also register as an operator so you can get around 25,000 node points for this purpose you need to fill your interest form and all so if you click here you can get the interest form itself and then you can provide your hardware by registering as a compute provider and then by adding a machine on the platform so this thing right so for registering as compute provider you can earn 1000 node points for adding you can earn 2500 node points so one more thing is all the node points will be converted into node token on the mainnet so i'm believing it has one to one ratio so if it is one to one ratio for the adding machine and compute provider itself has 3500 node tokens so just getting an information and uh, based upon their uh, low supply and the tokenomics will be released uh, in the next week maybe within this year that's what they said in the discord so let's get into assumption that um, one node token is 0 0.2 dollar on based upon the NPs we get uh, it is around 3500 3, node tokens on the initial price it will go around 700 to 800 dollar easy just for one compute provider registration so based upon the data that i posted yesterday only 256 uh, nodes has been deployed so it is still on early stages so as you can see total node is 278 so do this thing asap so this is the block for there uh, how the things work you can also see the for initial registration is early board offer so the two, uh, 2000 no tokens taking is waived by the team for or the early adopters we also climbed it right most of you climbed it so if you haven't climbed it just climb it is still live after some day maybe from next two weeks you need to have 2000 no tokens to register as an or uh, the compute provider for this thing alone you need to have 2000 no token so register as soon as possible and uh, so let's get into the revenue sharing method so the revenue sharing method uh, doesn't only involve as a compute provider so if you initially provide the compute uh, that will be converted into the units uh, based upon your hardware requirements that you provide to the atlas uh, they will provide your workload because all the nodes that uh, they have their integrations these things will be distributed into your uh, machines and run as a compute provider when your machine got the workload you will earn usdc usdt and also the node tokens you will earn three type of rewards apart from this uh, 15 percent of their token supply this 15 percent is the largest reserved for providers so that's why i'm telling you have multiple rewards uh, apart from uh, the node tokens itself you also earn the usdc and all based upon the workload on your hardware spec so that's why i bought the vps2 because it have much bigger uh, hardware than the general vps1 so you can hear these are the prerequisites uh, which is the ubuntu and uh, make sure that your machine doesn't have any other program running because if you are providing a uh, as a compute provider you need to give access to all their ports so that they don't have any restrictions for running their program and all that's why i've been saying don't use your personal computer for this purpose because all ports are need to be open and uh, your firewall also need to be open don't put any firewall like a ufw or something at all so make sure you don't have one on so they also clearly mentioned as uh, don't run it on your home lab computer and uh, you need to give access to your root so just buy a vps and run the compute provider thing 
don't run a standalone machine that you are using for your personal computer or any personal application services make sure you don't use your personal computers and all because the ports are open so just be careful so this is the minimum requirement so i bought vps2 that is more than this minimum requirement because i just want to be uh, get as much as the workload so that i can earn more for reward points on usdc and all so this thing we got offer just for being early so read through the docs all right so you need to have 99 percent uptime for uh, securing more rewards so that's for the compute provider uh, documentations you can also complete these steps and all so i just want to clear you out for running the cow premium you need to have an nft that uh, you bought from cow uh, official site and all so this thing is premium thing so make sure you uh, deploy with an nft that you have if you don't have an nft now you can't deploy the cow cow thing and all so I got to know that tokenomics will be released uh, around next week and uh, the workload will also be provided on next week itself around 28 or 29 and all so make sure you deploy the compute provider before that so you can earn on uh, the initial stage at all because if you are early less number of nodes are deployed so you can uh, get into the pool and uh, acquire as much as you can so see for early you can deploy with zero just stake and become a pro click stake and become a provider and then it will be uh, redirected to email uh, getting informations so you can provide your email and personal information just like i shown in the last video and then you can deploy a machine you can deploy up to five missions let me show with my another so this is the thing I have pending I just need to uh, buy the VPS and uh, deploy it let me show you how it's been done so for the Atlas compute provider node I'm going to buy the VPS 2 you can also buy with VPS and or VPS DN4 but I just gonna provide some good spec so that I can earn some nodes based on the workload they give so it will automatically redirect to this page that's how I manage the links so you have some credit back that going on counter book you can buy with United States or you can uh, use the European Union also. Right now they are offering a discount on US also. Before it was around something or uh, two dollar. So, so select the number of months you want. In this case, one month or twelve month, and then select the region you want. I'm gonna stay with the United States, and then choose the uh, storage type. So we basically choose the 400 GB SSD over the 200 gb nvme because on nodes you don't need the speed and all in some nodes you might need the speed but most nodes require a storage spaces so the greater the storage you can also convert the storage into swap memory and use it as a part time ram and all so i'm gonna go with the 400 gb ssd on the on this thing always choose ubuntu so you can see uh, 20 22 24 i'm going to stick with the latest version and then go to app and panels click docker and then here choose ubuntu 22.04 all right these are the things you need to uh, choose this blockchain and all if you want to run your full node on bitcoin or ethereum you can choose but uh, in this case we don't need to do that and uh, give you a strong password and then here you don't need to select any of these things all right if you need uh, more than one ip address for routing and all you can choose but uh, there is no requirement on atlas node and all. on most nodes there is no requirements so you can uh, stick with all the pre-selected things so after getting your uh, credentials just log in using terimus i will also show you on this video so after ordering you will receive an email like this so this is your ip address i just uh, mocked it out just for the security purpose so this is your ip address and then so initially everyone username is as root and then this is your password that you need to log in using putty or uh, terminus all right let me show you how you can set up uh, your vps on terimus so just open the terimus app that you can find in microsoft store you can also install by that or if you are using windows pc or you can go through the terimus official page and download the exe file for your requirement system i also provide a link on that so after buying vps open the terimus and then click new host so here give your ip address uh, url so in this case let it be like that 
so give you a name for your vps so just i'm gonna give vps2 since i have vps1 so on the first setup the port is always be the ssh that is 22 so the username is root and the password is that you got from your email on the initial stage so just or you can just keep the password and then click connect so it will be connected second thing they will ask for the password if you don't give the password so after logging to your vps it will ask for the password just enter the password itself or you can also save the password just by uh, entering here so and then so it will automatically connect your vps so let me quickly show how you can change your password also and what are the initial steps that you need to uh, do after buying the vps i logged on to my vps as i shown in the video using the settings in the terminals so on purchase of the new vps some things that you need to do before proceeding your node setup or any programs so just run sudo apt update so this will update all the packages that you have on your machine so this is the basic common thing that you need to do and then sudo apt upgrade so after just press y so this thing will update your apps on any uh, security patches and all so make sure you do that before proceeding into your actual setups and all so i logged on to my vps so kindly go through the docs before you proceeding these things so let's get into the setup port so in last video i registered as a uh, machine provider that is the compute provider now i'm going to set up the machine i'm just going to add the machine so i can workload uh, whenever they post so just copy this command and uh, run it on your machine so this thing will uh, run your service and uh, your service will be deployed on your machine so they can verify your machine uh, based upon your hardware requirement and it will be act as a compute provider so make sure it is live and don't run any other programs on your machine and uh, don't uh, activate any firewall on your vps provider so that uh, it will be a smooth operation to earn the node tokens and uh, usdc rewards and all so the workload will uh, you will get around uh, next week so make sure you deploy compute provider nodes before that it is just a simple command see my service is activated let me check so it's in active state and it's also running well i don't see any error can also find the command here itself see i don't see any error at all so it is working as fine it's gone so that's the thing and then i'm gonna click finish i'm just going to wait uh, it will convert it into the active state so i got into the state click all and you will see the await awaiting stake so the request take amount is 1200 node tokens just click and sign a transaction so for initial it is free so use this it's in the configuring state it will be soon get into the active state so as you can see it turned active within seconds so it also occurring the rewards as it says and uh, as you can see about the workload thing as i already said you will get the workload around the next week i just use these many machines uh, just for the testing purpose i also deleted the machine on itself so make sure you don't add any more machines than uh, you don't provide so make sure you provide or uh, unrun the thing for a while so you can get the rewards itself so it will acquire rewards based on the workload you can get so that's the thing guys and uh, uh, i got to know some people uh, facing that of the machine got deleted that thing is of course if you run any other program on the same machine that you're running the atlas compute provider the other program will use some ports and the atlas network won't entertain them so the atlas, the atlas network need to use all the ports on i also mentioned the address that uh, they are going to use they using the initial address which is zero so all the uh, port need to be open and uh, that is only from the root provider 
so make sure you log in from root and uh, don't use any other uh, user that you created don't create any user just log in from root so you can uh, give the as much as freedom for the atlas compute provider so you can get more workload you can earn more tokens all right so it's just a five dollar investment guys if you provide more spec it might be a ten dollar investment but for five dollar investment you want to get around at least for in the rare case scenarios it 500 to 700 dollar easily so that's the not only thing uh, it is just for the quest purpose that you want to get the, that much of amount if once uh, uh, the people start providing nodes on the platform all the nodes will be distributed into the compute providers so that compute providers can uh, make shit lot of money uh, you can track your earnings on your these steps at all that's the thing don't care about the investment it's just a five dollar make sure you deploy the as much as uh, compute provider you can you can provide up to five missions on one account so remember that and use it wisely so make sure you don't run any other program on the same machine that's the basic thing so after adding your machine so go to this task and click check status just refresh see my status has been completed and then I got 2500 NPS instantly so I have 4360 NPS so it will be converted into let's say 4300 I'm hoping uh, I also uh, indicated about a uh, 1 is to 1 ratio so let's hope for the best if it is 4360 and the initial price is a uh, 0 0.2 dollar it could easily get around 900 dollars so it's uh, easy money so just deploy as much as you can and uh, once the eigen layer operator went live I will also post uh, stuff on that because it has 25,000 node points and uh, the vendor thing also I will also follow up on this uh, project more often so you can uh, earn some node points and this is early stage and uh, complete their interact quest also so it says it is around February that main it will be launched because their quest is ending on February so make sure you do that because only around 280 nodes are deployed so get in early and use the early board offer because we don't know when they are gonna uh, stop that early board offer so within that thing deploy as much as you can that's the only thing i'm gonna say so that's it for today guys if you guys have any other doubts let me know in the telegram channel so i can help you out and follow me on twitter make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel most of people watching the video without subscription over 90 percent of people are watching without subscription so a small content creator like me if you're watching the video without subscription that's not going to help me at all it's just a least thing to do so kindly subscribe and watch that's the only support that you're gonna show to me so make sure you do that and i'll see you guys in another video until then stay safe and have a nice day